Hello everyone, this is Nakira here with Bindlestiff Family Circus After School. And just as a refresher, been here before, but I teach in Hudson, New York, as well as Chatham, New York. And I'm pretty sure if you guys have ever seen a circus or some circus performers, you guys have more than likely seen stilt walkers. So I'm going to teach you how to do your own DIY stilts. So. I'm just going to show you a few things that we're going to need. So for this DIY, first off, you're going to need two. It doesn't have to be a specific brand, but just two metal canisters. I have metal coffee canisters. You're going to need a pair around too. I forgot to mention that because you're going to be using things like this, a hammer. Um, so, preferably, you should get a nail that's, like, kind of thick. I don't really have a thick nail, so I'm going to use a screw, and I'm going to just hammer a couple holes. That's why you need a pair and around, so safety first. And the last thing that you'll need is yarn. So, I will show you exactly how to make this. Um, give me a second. All I'm going to do, I already did it with this one, but pretty much what you need to do is you take either your nail or your screw, like myself, has to be thick so it can make thick enough holes for the yarn to go through. And you're going to make a little spot, go down, pull it out, come over here, do the same on this side. Preferably do it on the floor if you can. And so it's going to look just like this. You're going to do this to both. Both of your canisters. So give me a second while I go do the other one and I'll come back. Right. See? I have two holes for each canister. So these are going to be the holes that we use to put the yarn through. I almost forgot to tell you guys that you're also going to need scissors to cut the yarn when it's time. So first off, what I want you to do, because obviously I set aside my um, canisters. So you're going to take your yarn and you're going to have to measure from essentially where your feet are to about your hip, I'll say. Really and truly, it's almost going to be like you're quadrupling it because this is going to be where you're going to have to feed it through the holes and hold on to them. Make sure both ends go through each side. A parent will be very helpful for this step. And essentially, you'll end up with something that looks like this. You can put the top back on, so it's less coffee grounds everywhere. <laughs> so then you're going to put it on the floor, make sure it's not all twisted up, and you tie it at the top. So now, as you guys can see, I'm back. I have two sets of strings, two sets of DIY stilts. And so now, with these DIY stilts, what you're going to want to do, preferably, I would say put on some shoes, some actual shoes, no slippers. I, I mean, you could wear your socks, but it might be just a little bit safer at home to just put on some type of shoes and a little bit more comfortable. So now you can see how it looks. Have them like this. You step on your stilts. You pull as you step. Now you have your own stilts. So, you guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And even comment whether or not your stills work for you. Alright, again, this is Nakira. See you later.